basic way that GSM networks are set up is this thing called an ARFSIN. ARF. ARF. And there's like uh, 120 of these in, in a band. And so you just pick one of them. Um, and this, so this is the amount of base stations that can be in an area overlapping. Your phone just associates with one of those. Our ARFSIN is, I think, 76 right now. You just pick one for the property. It's just, the frequency. it's just a frequency. What it is is that there's two chunks, there's the uplink and the downlink, and an arfsyn is like the 76th slot on each one. So we just sit here, another tower sits here, this makes sure that all the towers don't intersect. But in this arfsyn, there's a primary channel, which is, is, is this control channel. Um, and what sits out here is there's something called the broadcast control channel. And um, what this does is it tells the phones where everything is in the rest of the spectrum. And so when your phone camps to a station, all it does is um, listens for this slot and determines that, hey, this is the guy that I want to be. It says, like, there's a bit that says AT&T. There's a bit that says uh, USA. Um, there's just a, there's a bunch of these little codes. Um, there's a couple other codes that really aren't that important for this discussion. So when your phone camps, first it finds this station, uh, and then it, in another station, it, it also this also says, hey, if you want to talk to me, use this frequency over here. And then the phone comes over and says, you know, hi, and that's it. Now the, the base station knows, hey, there's a phone that's listening to me. And this is, when it says hi, hi is um, my MC and my IMEI. Um, so then the base station knows that this phone is here, and that's all the communication that happens. So after this, the phone is just sitting here listening to this broadcast channel. And if there's a call, a little flag will come up saying, hey, MCX, you've got a call on another channel over here somewhere. And so most of the time, the base station, if you leave a base station, it doesn't know. Um, there's, a, there's a little update which says every six minutes, or nine minutes is whatever it's configurable. Please tell me that you're here again. But that's that's the extent of the knowledge that the base station has about whether you're logged on or not. I mean, the f the phone is sitting here listening because listening is cheaper than transmitting. And the fact is, like, we expect there to be decent power here, and we want to save as much power as right. possible on the phone. Right. So all the phone does is listen to this channel, and and if there's any flag that says, "Hey, I've got a call," then it does something. Um, so this is. Basic structure of what goes on. When there's a call, like I said, it's the same thing. This gets lit up. This says, hey, there's a call control channel somewhere here, somewhere else in the spectrum. Go and talk here. So, so this is the basics of how, how your cell phone network works. Very high level, but this is all the important bits. Um, and so the big information that gets handed to the carrier is, is your MC and your IMEI. And this is the, cell, the SIM card number that's unique. And this is uh, your hardware serial number-ish thing. Um, this can both of these can be faked, but it's hard. So um, we get this call control channel set up, and we get all of our bits set in here. That's the voice communications, and OpenBTS just copies that to a message, it's a, SIP, a, a SIP message, um, and sends it out to a, a VoIP service somewhere. So it really just bridges all of this stuff down to basic VoIP protocols, that being um, RTP for voice and SIP messages, simple is what it's called, the simple, the SIP something something, something uh, message protocol for text. So at this point, OpenBTS's whole job is to change these specific GSM formats over to these voice over IP protocols. And then magic happens, you can suddenly interop with the entirety of the VoIP world. So we have, Open BTS, and we have uh, handset one and handset two, and these are camped on the base station. So to make a call through there, what actually happens is you get it comes in as GSM, um, it comes out of here as SIP, it goes into I'm running Free Switch, which is my own. Uh, I, I've modified Open BTS to allow this. Um, it's another voice over IP service like Asterix. Uh, this goes back as SIP, and then it goes out as, as GSM. So, the, the, actually there's even another layer in here, but I'll ignore it. Um, so, 
this guy's doing the, the heavy lifting. If you called a different number, there's, um, maybe we should do that, 9199, uh, you get a little, uh, it just stops at free switch. Free switch, immediately handled. Um, in which case, then it's just a one and off communication. And likewise, this could easily go out to uh, you know, some jabber clients. 